what's happening. This is Joshua Boetsi and you're watching Sports and Icons. So I watched the IFL TV interview with Kel Brook from earlier on today. And within this one, of course, he is talking about that um, he believes Terence Crawford is going to be Amir Khan and he would like to fight Terence Crawford, which is why he's over there in New York right now. He's going to watch that fight live. Um, cool. I like that one. Now, within this interview, it, um, it was turned out, I don't, I don't know whether it was leaked, maybe he's not supposed to say it, I don't know, because it's the first that I've heard of it, to be honest. And on box rec, it's complete opposite. On box rec, he's still on the June 1st Anthony Joshua undercard. But in this interview, he's saying he's not. Um, that uh, Umar guy, whatever his name is, um, I don't know. There's something about him. He kind of irritates me. I don't know what it is. Um, maybe I'm just used to Coogan Cassius, but uh, that uh, Umar, IFL, Umar, whatever people keep calling him, is, um, I don't know, I find him a little bit annoying. He sounds a little bit dumb, to be honest with you. But anyway, um, moving on from that. So if Kel Brook is now off this card as well, I mean, I was looking forward to seeing Kel Brook on that card, to be honest. Listen, for me, Kel Brook and all the British fighters should be staying here in the UK, headlining. Kel Brook is a headline fight here in the UK. For him to be on undercar card seems like a complete waste of a fight and let's be honest the kind of fight that he was going to fight it was going to be a walkthrough but as Kel Brook says in this interview that he only really wants fights where he has a little bit of fear factor about him that's what brings out the best in him that's why he didn't look too good against uh, um, Serafi last time out because he just overlooked him he didn't see him as any kind of threat so he didn't look too good um, he already has travelled to America and defeated Sean Porter and got the IBF um, title. So he's no stranger to travelling, but he wants the likes of a Keith Thurman. He wants um, Manny Pacquiao and he wants a rematch with um, Sean Porter to try and win the green belt off him um, as he already won the red one. And he wants those kind of ones. If not, then he'll go at 154 still and take on Jarrett Hurd. He is a mandatory for Jarrett Hurd and uh, potentially a Munguia or a Tony Harrison, or Charlo winner, whatever it may be. So, Kel Brook has lots of options, and I'm, and I'm glad that he's saying this. I'm glad that um, he's not just holding on to his career too much longer in the hope of an Amir Khan fight. For me, I think he's wasted too much time and needs to stop chasing Amir Khan around. Okay, that's my honest opinion. Uh, but either way, the point of this video is it's disappointing that he's not going to be on this undercard. The undercard is already stacked anyway. I mean, you've got Cal Yafai defending his world title on there. You've got Katie Taylor for Undisputed on there. Callum Smith is going to be on there. Joshua Boatz is going to be there. Josh Kelly's going to be on there. So it's a very, very good card. Of course, we were still waiting on most of those opponents. And Kel Brook was on that card also. And Eddie Hearn was talking about potentially if Derek Chisora wins this weekend, that uh, maybe he was looking at Derek Chisora versus Joseph Parker for this card as well. So those of you in America, I know you're all used to the real crap undercards, as in a pretty decent main event, and the rest of the card is just trash. Now you're seeing what it is that um, Brits over here like. We like the entire card, and that's what Eddie Hearn is bringing to you guys, so enjoy. Uh, but I am disappointed that Kel Brook's not going to be on this one. Um, he did say he didn't have a fight date next, and he didn't know when he's going to be fighting. He didn't know where, uh, but he does believe it could well be stateside. And reason being, it's going to be for money, isn't it? And if he's going to be fighting Crawford, of course he's going to have to go to Crawford's backyard. If he's going to fight Jarrah Hurd or Keith Thurman, Charlo, Harrison, whatever. Of course, he's going to have to be traveling, which is, in my opinion, what a challenger should usually have to do. You should try and go to the champion's backyard and take the title, if possible, of course. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to news out there for you all that Kel Brook is not on the Joshua card anymore. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, and of course subscribe. Catch you all on the next one.